Hey everyone, it's Sophia here, and welcome or welcome back to my American Girl Wall YouTube channel, AG Bliss. Today, I have a pretty exciting video, at least for me, because I'm going to be making a custom American Girl doll out of my Yvette Peters doll. So, Yvette Peters is such a gorgeous doll, and I think she's really pretty, and I love the way her hair looks when it's brand new out of the box. However, it's virtually impossible to take care of because it's so crimped that once the sections get separated or brushed out, it's pretty much impossible to put them back together without completely resetting her hair. And even then, I tried not touching it, and it just kept getting frizzier and frizzier. So, like I said, I put her in this really cute little ballerina bun with a hairnet. But I'm not going to keep redoing her hair and styles like this for the rest of my life. So I decided to make a custom doll out of this doll. So basically on my community tab a few days ago, I posted a picture of my plan to make this custom doll with two name suggestions, Finley or Paisley. So I have decided what I'm going to name her and I will tell you at the very end of this video. But anyway, to customize her, I'm going to be using a wig from Dallas Doll Co. This just came in the mail and I'm really excited. So yeah, let's open up this wig. So I have the package open and I have the wig in here. I can see it and it looks so beautiful. So this is the wig I got. It feels so thick and it feels really good and just amazing quality. I've never ordered a wig from Dallas Doll Co. before so I'm really excited. It looks so good and if you're wondering which wig this is, it's actually called, I believe, Frosted Gingerbread from the Dallas Doll Co. website. And as you can see, it's kind of close to Yvette's original hair color which is what I was going for. It just has a texture that's much easier to take care of. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to be doing to rewig her is taking off her wig and basically to do this I'm just going to be listening to my favorite audiobook which is Harry Potter and I'm going to be using a spoon and a fork to work at the edge of the wig cap and kind of try to get the wig off. Hey everyone, so now I have her wig on, but before I do the name reveal, I just want to say something because I have no idea why it took me so long to do the wig. It's literally the next day, and yesterday it took me like three hours to get the wig off, and usually wigs take me like about maybe 10 minutes at most, so I don't know what they did differently this time, but with this Yvette wig, it was super glued on there. It was basically impossible to take it off, and it took me like two hours just to get the wig off, but then there was still tons and tons of the wig cap on her head. So then I had to take a knife and kind of slice the wig cap off of her head. Um, luckily I didn't damage her vinyl too much. She has a bit of scratches, but no one can really tell since it's under the wig anyway. But yeah, this is how she looks. And I absolutely love this wig. It's so gorgeous. And the thing I like about this wig is that you can finger curl it or brush it out. And it looks good either way. Right now it's finger curled and I styled it with these little half up braids. I think it suits her really well and this wig is just so gorgeous. And I think it's probably the best feeling doll hair I've ever had on any American Girl doll. It feels even better than a brand new doll that came right out of the box. It just feels so amazing. And I'm super obsessed with the color of this wig because it's really pretty. It has this dark blonde color, then this light, light, almost white kind of color, and a brown all mixed into it. And it just looks so pretty with all the highlights. And it's really silky and I like the curl pattern. Another thing I love about this wig is that it's actually heat resistant so you can flat iron it or curl it. I'm going to keep it just like this but in case it gets too messy or the curls come out I can easily just curl it again. So now I have a hairbrush and I can also show you how this wig looks brushed out because honestly I like it both ways but I just love how pretty it looks brushed out. When I brush it out, it looks a lot more blonde since on top it has more blonde hair and on the bottom it has more brown hair. So now for the name reveal of my custom doll. Like you all know if you follow my channel, I posted a community post asking which name was better and I had two name suggestions for this doll. First one was Finley and the second one was Paisley. Well, I've decided to save the name Finley for a different custom doll, so meet Paisley. She's so cute, I decided to keep her last name Peters, and yeah, 
I'm really happy with the way she turned out and I love how soft her wig is. If you don't remember what it's called, it's called the Frosted Gingerbread Wig and it's from Dallas Doll Co. in case you want to get it for one of your own custom dolls. But yeah, I'm really excited to have my first official custom American Girl doll because my other two customs are boy dolls. So they have like really short hair and I guess it doesn't really count. But this is my full, this is my first fully custom American Girl doll other than the doll that I did for my 1000 subscribers giveaway. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Paisley and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!